Hey y'all, welcome back to Squatch TV. <clears throat> On this episode, <clears throat> some this episode is going to be for some people and it's not going to be for other people. So if you're the other people, then just disregard uh, this episode and we'll all get along just fine. This episode is showing you how to make canna butter, cannabis butter, aka weed. Oh, geez, you call it all sorts of weird stuff. So, anyways, uh, I thought it would be helpful to show folks, especially those folks that are in pain or trying to get off of the Percocets or whatever other pain medicines that you're on that are rough on you, much rougher than cannabis. So, follow along. I'll show you how to make can of butter, and then you can use the butter in any recipes you want. Uh, I bake cookies with them and then uh, dole out maybe a quarter of a cookie and you sleep pretty good. So, and you don't get uh, too fuzzy, which I don't care for anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you what I got going here. I got, uh, I got my, I got, I got my flour weighed out. That's what they call it is flour. So I weighed out. What the normal recipe is, is 14 grams of flour to one pound of butter. Uh, and what I did was weighed out 16 grams because I have some that's got stems in it and a couple of seeds. So I'm going to have to remove some of that. That's where a grinder comes in handy. You just put it in there and turn it and it grinds it up real fine. So once I do that, then I'm going to spread it out on a cookie sheet and we're going to do what's called uh, decarboxylating uh, the cannabis. And what that, you have to just follow along. I'll, I don't know all the proper terms, but what it, it turns it in from THC to THCA or something like that. But the decarb decarboxylating is the process that um, gives you the strength in edibles, right? So in butter. So what I do, I'll remove the stems, I'll remove the seeds, I'll reweigh it and make sure I got my 14 grams. Then I'll spread it out on a cookie sheet and I'll put it in a 240 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. You'll wanna keep an eye on it because not everybody's oven's the same. Some people say to do 250, I do 240. Uh, and it, and I've made many batches and it's, it's worked out just fine. So a 240 degree oven, uh, for 30 to 40 minutes. And then from there, we go into a double broiler with the butter, the decarboxylated cannabis, and then you add a little bit of water, but I'll show you all that when we get to it. So Okay, I am going to uh, remove the stems and seeds and then I'll bring you back and show you the next step. Hang in there. Okay, so I thought I'd show you how I do the grinding and a couple of different things here. So if you have something that's super dry, you can pretty much just put it in your hands and it'll crumble up, right? It'll If it's super dry. If it's more dense, uh, then you have to pick it apart a little bit, right? And then you put it in your grinder, like so, put the top on, and it's just as easy as turning it back and forth. And you'll feel when it's ground up because it gets easy to turn. See? So there it is, all ground up now. And that's what you want. Okay, I'll uh, bring you back when we're putting it in the oven. Okay, so then once you got your pile that's all ground up and you've removed any stems or seeds, then you need to weigh it again. And I'm going to have to use a bigger container here. So hold on. Close enough. Hit the tip. 
tear. Oh, actually, I should put that on there and then put that on there and then hit the tear button. And then I'm golden. You just want to make sure that you're still close to, that's why I weighed it out to 16 grams, is because I knew I'd be taking out some uh, stems and seeds, which would affect the weight. So now I'm down to 14.5, and that works fine for me. So, back onto the cookie sheet. Good enough, good enough. Spread it out a little bit. And in the stove, uh, in the oven, excuse me, uh, 14 grams, uh, 240 for 40 minutes. And I'll bring you back here in just a second. Okay, so while that, uh, while the flour is in the oven decarboxylating, <laughs> that word has just got me nuts. Take two sticks of butter, half a pound of butter, and you're going to end up putting it in this, and you're going to end up filling that with some water, you know, like an inch worth of water, maybe two inches, and then you put that there, and that's your double broiler. So you'll melt that butter in there, uh, and then you'll add a cup or two of water and your decarboxylated flour Add that in there too, stir it up, and then just let it go for, I usually go five hours, and you'll wanna make sure that you don't run out of water in the pan, right? So every hour, it's not a bad idea to give it a stir and look and make sure you got enough water if you don't add a little bit of water. I usually add water a couple of times in that five hours. So, and then, uh, and I'll bring you back when we're doing it too, okay. Okay, so I filled it about halfway with water, and then we'll put our double broiler on, and I got it on high heat until it boils, uh, and then when it boils, I'll turn it down to low. I'll add a cup or two of water in with the butter, right? And then we'll stir in the flour as well. I'll bring you back for that. I just wanted to mostly show you the level of water that I have down in the pan. So, all right, see you in a minute. Okay, y'all, been 35 minutes, uh, so I'm going to pull it. That's what it looks like, a little more dry, right? And that's what's called uh, decarboxylating, right? So then I'm going to take this. And get it all off one corner here and then here, I'll bring you over here oh I better bring you over on this side so I got my butter melted there in my double broiler so now we'll add the flour Good enough and then we'll add a little over a cup of water I do about a cup and a half okay and now we just stir that in just a little bit and then we just let it go We let it go for about five hours. And then what I'll do is you get yourself another bowl and a strainer, right? And then if you have some cheesecloth, that works really good too over the top of the strainer. And then once you do the five hours is up, you take it off the heat and you pour the entire mixture, mixture through the the two strain method here and you could just do the one you're just going to have some pieces in your butter but it's, it's not that big of a deal i find 
so, and then once you get it in there, uh, you squeeze out as much as you can in the, you know, you, you fold up the cheesecloth and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze to get all the goodness out of it. And then you'll be left with it here and it'll already start to separate the butter from the water. So put it in the fridge uh, for a few hours or overnight. And then when you pull it out, you'll see all this dirty water down low and all the the golden green butter will be on top. But I'll show you all that uh, as we continue. So nothing left to do now. We just let it uh, do its thing. Check it every hour to make sure you got enough water in the pot. Uh, and then maybe stir it once an hour. We'll go for five hours and then I'll be back. Hang in there. Okay, y'all, it's been cooking for five hours. So now I'm gonna do the straining part. Uh, I just want to be careful not to spill because this stuff ain't cheap. So there's my strainer. Here I got a couple of my pot holders. So that's what it looks like right now. It's green, kind of gross looking. It's got a little bit of a stink to it. I only had to add water to the pot once and still got lots of water in there. So then you take you take uh, oh, that's better that was so noisy so can you see okay right there yeah you can see pretty good if I come closer it'd be better huh? oh, there how's that okay so then you take this and pour it in there, right, like so. And then make sure the bowl is not too hot to hold with your bare hand, and it's okay. So then you gotta scrape out your goodies here, just like anything else you cook. Okay. And that's pretty good there, good enough for me. Right, so then you take this cheesecloth, you lift it up, and now's when you should let it cool or maybe uh, use a glove, because you gotta squeeze all this down into there. But as you can see, it's this, uh, darkish green color and that's normal but you can already start to see here hold on let me give you a different view here okay so there it is right and see it's that kind of emerald green color or pea soup maybe and then if you look here see all that nasty brown on the bottom that's all water all the green on the top that's butter that's the cannabis infused butter so when we put it in the refrigerator it will harden and I will show you that part we're not in in the video yet but see I put that over there so I can uh, let it cool a little bit and then I can squeeze everything out of there real good so uh, I'll do that and I'll put it in the fridge and then I'll bring you back when it's solidified and show you how you get it out of the bowl all right okay so a great way to get the Oh, hold on, let me move over here. To get the remaining uh, butter out of the cheesecloth bundle is just to take a couple of big wooden spoons because it's still too hot to touch uh, too much. And you just squeeze on them. And you want to make sure you get every bit of liquid that you can out of that. And I know a lot of people that will run this through water again but i've never had a problem with the strength of the cookies that i make so this is all i do and that's pretty good right there so it's pretty light now because i've got all the moisture out of it and i know some people use this the remaining flour 
Uh, some people use it for tea and things like that. I do not. I just throw it out. Uh, and that's, that's the good stuff right there. So we'll pour that in there. Get all that down in there. Okay. Lift that out of there. Push that down in there. Make sure you got everything. Okay. And then that's it. So this is screaming hot. So what I'm going to do is just put a... I'm just going to put a plate over it. Uh, until it's cool enough that I'll put it in the fridge. And then I'll bring you back when it's solidified. All right. Okay, y'all, welcome back. Let's, uh, let's finish this thing up. So it's been sitting in the fridge overnight. And as you can see, that top part, the green color, that's the butter. The bottom part is the water. It separates, right? So I'll show you how we do this. Just take a butter knife and just, uh, just hit the edge, right, like that. And then it pops up just like that, right? Let it drain. Uh, what else I do is take a little piece of towel and then just, I just blot the bottom. Don't do too much though, because that's good stuff, right? And that's all you do with that. Now, uh, <clears throat> How to use this? Well, you use it just like regular butter. This is where things get a little dicey. Uh, so if you're gonna make cookies, you just use it just like butter. If it calls for a stick of butter or a, a quarter cup, uh, then use a quarter cup of this butter. It's the same uh, measurements. Uh, but if you make cookies, uh, I suggest only trying an eighth of a cookie the first time and see how you do. And you gotta give it a couple of hours. If you if you got a full stomach, you might not notice anything for up to three hours. If you got an empty stomach, you might notice within an hour. So I would start out on an eighth and then bump up. I, I do a quarter, uh, sometimes a little more than a quarter. You'll start getting used to sometimes a batch is a little bit more strong than, than the other one. So I just don't want y'all to start seeing flying objects in the air and calling me in the middle of the night saying you're freaking out because I really don't want to deal with that. <laughs> okay, y'all. So there you go. <clears throat> Your own can of butter. What can this be used for? Everything. You can put it in anything. You can eat it by itself. Doesn't taste very good by itself. Just like butter. But you could. Uh, it is good to go, and it works great for pain control. If you've been on the Percocets like I have or muscle relaxers or anything like that, it works really good for pain control. And right now, with uh, elective, elective surgeries being put off, uh, this stuff can help get you through. You know, so anyways, that's why I decided to make the video because there's so many, you know, my wife was going to go have a shoulder surgery and then probably a knee surgery and who knows when that's going to happen now. So uh, I know there's lots of people out there that need some type of pain control and this is way better than the Percocet junk they put you on. Trust me, I've been down that road and traveled back. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'd appreciate no negative comments. I know not everybody's into the can of butter thing. So if you're not into it, just uh, go on to the next video or whatever. So that's it. Hey, y'all, I hope you have, looks like it's a beautiful day out there. I hope you have a great Thursday. We'll see you on the live show tonight. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and even better tomorrow. Squatch out.